in in this video which is the second video we are going to look at uh, a number of uh, things uh, we are going to look firstly at uh, logging into search evolution we are going to learn how to log into uh, search evolution we are also going to learn how to explore the search evolution environment. We are going to be looking at what is it that makes up that environment. We are also going to briefly look at um, uh, manipulating the system tree and uh, that should be it for this video. Now listen for the following uh, illustrations. This is the login uh, screen that comes out. You may remember this from the first video on how to create a company. So after the screen, you simply select the company and this time you click on OK. But this should be after you have put in the agent name and the password. But in most cases, these uh, fields are populated automatically. So in this case, I have only one company, which is our test break that we created previously. And then I click on OK. Yes, we wait for uh, the icons to come through. Now let's take a closer look at the Sage Evolution Explorer screen. This screen is made up of a number of parts which we must know. Uh, the screen is made up of the menu bar which consists of that bar containing those menu items and usually at the top of your screen and it is also made up of the module toolbar which uh, contains some of the functions that are found in the main menu bar and this is the area represented by the green box which represents the module toolbars but uh, mainly speaking uh, these are the modules that you would find within uh, the Sage Evolution. And the next uh, area which is also very important is uh, the system tree and it is the area represented by the box in this corner and this is the system tree. It contains most of the items that you would find in the main menu bar as well as the items that you'd find in the module main uh, toolbar. We also have the last area which is the biggest area on our screen and this area is called the uh, navigation toolbar or when you log into or when you open into a module we will call it a work area but for now uh, this is generally called the navigation toolbar. It is an interesting uh, area because that's where we will be working from most of the time. I'll provide a very quick uh, introduction to the system tree. The system tree is that part of the screen that is uh, to the left of the main working area. Um, it contains, like I've said, uh, functions that are found in the main menu bar and functions that are also found in the module toolbar. So this uh, system tree it will help you to navigate through most of these uh, areas. For example, if you click here to expand the list, you see it contains more items and every uh, plus sign that you see here, you click on it, then you get more options. And as you click into those options, you also get to, to see that the navigation area also changes to reflect the chosen or the selected uh, item or the selected module. Therefore, sometimes uh, the system tree may need to be collapsed like what I've just done. And sometimes it, you can even make that system tree to disappear by clicking on view and then clicking on show system tree here you uncheck and the system tree disappears and when we want to get it back onto the screen again 
we simply click on the view and then we click on show system tree and it shows that's how uh, the navigation uh, of uh, explorer uh, takes place so we've got three options uh, either using the main menu bar or we can use the module toolbar or we can use the system tree and all these each time we click on them will open the modules which will then display in the main working area which we call the navigation toolbar thank you